Good day, good day, everyone. Mr. Economist here, and welcome back to some more Elantis. We are playing Banished, and uh, our population is growing very quickly. And we need to get some more food. Nothing, uh, nothing dire yet. We still got twenty-four thousand food in storage. But we did use a little bit more food than we produced last year. This year we should have a surplus. And how much wool do we have? We've only got 307 wool. So we're using more wool um, than we're producing. So we can probably use an extra sheep pen. Somewhere. Maybe out here. I think that's a decent area for a sheep pen. Let's go and set... we'll set two sheep pens. Or two pastures at least. Nope, we're gonna go trade apparently. Just no. Go away. Uh, because I want to try and get them as close to the mountain over here as we can. So I want to build it in line with this. It looks like here is about as close as we can get. So we'll go 20 by 20. So that's a good size. Red, green, green, we'll leave a space, 20 by 20 again, and uh, we'll just rotate the barn around a little bit, so they're not exactly the same. Cool. Now let's have a look at pathing. That's acceptable, acceptable, it's fine, it's fine, fine, nope, that's stupid, 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 okay, we need a lot more houses up here. Uh, I guess we're gonna do another eight. So we're gonna need 360 stone. That's basically what we've got. Cool. Uh, how far out does this extend? Cool. So yeah, we can definitely fit another um another house ring here. Let's go through and uh, plunk that down. Put one there. Put one there. Put one there. And there. There, leave a space. Another space. One there. And we'll just plunk the well in the middle. Kill. Look at all these pumpkins. Early autumn, you might want to hurry up and, you know, harvest these things. Corn. Pe um, capsicum is already uh, harvested, so that's good. Oh yeah, we're going to need barns. Because we've got a lot of food. And, like, everyone's running down here to store the store down here. So yeah, we can want some barns up here. Um, another trader. They just keep on coming. Okay, okay then. I don't really want any of that stuff. Can you like go away, please? Here we're actually really low on wool coats because all the good traders come here. Well, we've only got like two fishermen. We might want to get another fisherman just because fish might be an idea. I think we might have produced more food than we used this year, and we did. We're going to use a little bit more in winter, but we should have a surplus. And of course, there's more food that gets left out to die than the coal. Plum, ale, coal. Coal's not bad. Apple seeds we want. Iron tools we want. Pumpkin, we've got pecan, we've got potato, capsicum, we've got... Okay, so we're gonna order some apple seeds. I would love to get coal. The thing is, the citizens are gonna use it for, for heating. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna store it in the trading post. So we can't, because we, have no, we haven't had coal before. Alright, so I'm gonna have to be quick. I'm gonna buy the th I'm gonna buy that 300 coal. I'm gonna store it. Is that all we want? 
So we wanted tools too, didn't we? Yeah, here we go. Expensive. Alright, we will offer 300. Can we get a bit closer? 350. A bit much. 330. And then here we'll go 15. Trade. No, 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 no. We don't want. F well, we could use some firewood. Nah, I'm not gonna buy. Okay, dismiss. Now, if we go inventory, we've got the coal now. Now, if we bump this up to 300, I don't think any should leave the trading post, and we can just store it here until we uh, till we want to use it ourselves. Yep, here we go. Still, we've just got the 300 coal sitting here. So we've got it, but the citizens can't access it, which is good. So I don't want them using my coal. That stuff's precious. Working as a laborer, we've got heaps of laborers. My goodness. Uh, let's designate another two herdsmen. We could even go four. We could have both of these pastures working. What produces more food? Chickens or beef? Looks like beef wins. Yeah, but then cow, um, mutton can produce more than beef sometimes. Yeah, look at that. It's like double. Well, it seems to have its good use and its bad use. I think uh, we're going to go beef and mutton in these two pens here. Could uh, these be built, please? I don't care so much about the houses. Cool. It's minus negative one degree. It's quite cold. Zero degrees. That's Celsius, not Fahrenheit, too. We've got a decent amount of logs still. We might be using more logs than we produce. Nope, we're still good. Uh, as our need for firewood grows, though, we're going to need to expand our log production. Stone is low, firewood's low. Well, of course, stone is low. I just designated 360 <laughs> uh, stone worth of building. That's nearly done. That's nearly done. Very nice. Stone is low. Stone is low. Our food seems to be a little bit low. According to this, we're good. I guess just because we're heading into harvest season. You know, we're just, we've just come out of winter, so we don't really have any food being produced just yet. That's a little bit close, though. We're going to need more farms. And we're going to take a little bit of a food hit. Uh, because... When we split that pasture and this pasture, at least they're not going to be producing any meat. So, yeah. Go sheep first. Split. Next, next um, spring we might be down to about fifteen thousand food. Just getting a little bit low. Oh cool, this is this one's done too. Cattle. Split. Trader. Iron tool, steel tool, firewood, leather. Well I'm not gonna get leather or firewood. I will get the tools. It's starting to get expensive. Um let's let us offer what, a hundred and eighty? Close. Go 175. No. 175. 170. And then. Five. Trade. We don't want any of that crap. Go away. Another trade up right off the bat. Hmm. Straight away. Good trade. There we go. 
and whoops, we need to bump this up to 900. We've got a lot of coal stored now. Cool, it looked like none of it was taken away. So really, like all this area can be houses. A little bit inefficient. Probably better to have some farms up here than a row of houses here. Just so they don't have to walk so far. We could have barns like here as well. Barns, houses, some farms. Let's do that. We'll go here, crops, crops. 15 by 7 again. Uh, we'll stick them right next to each other though. Could be a little bit more space, space efficient. We'll put three of them down. Designate another six farmers. Can we fit another house in here? So close. That is really close. So if this house was facing this direction, we probably would be able to fit that house there. That's a shame. Anyway, can't have everything, right? Designate all those high priority. Up to 14. Okay, so these guys have bred a bit. This guy hasn't really. 11, 14. Cool. I'm still leaving this pasture empty just in case we get an infestation in one of our other pastures so we can shuffle our animals around to you know prevent the infestation from spreading. It's early autumn, we have a load of food being harvested, so that's good. We'll have another three um uh crop fields the next year. What have we got here? We've got pepper, uh, corn, capsicum. Okay, we'll go potato. Pumpkin, cabbage. Let's put... I'm going to try and avoid using wheat. So we're just going to have more alcohol produced. We should probably limit this too. Let's go to lower the limit to 250. Just so we can actually have some wheat stored. Here, let us put. Hmm, I guess more bump, more potato. And here we'll designate. I don't know, cabbage. There we go. Loop the road around. Ah, here we can. Uh, nice, we've still got room for a little road up this way. That worked out rather well. We could even fit barns in here, couldn't we? We could. It's a bit tight though. I think I'd prefer to have barns along here. We've got a load of stone. That gap, gap. Damn. This mountain's getting in the way. Do that. Get two barns in there. And only get one barn here, really. Could do it like that. It's getting a bit close. No, I'll only put three barns. That should be enough. 15,000 storage open. A barn has. Is it 5,000 units or 10,000? I don't remember. Probably got 5,000 units. That's 2,000, about 3,000, yeah. 5,000 units of storage in a barn. Which is a decent amount. Another trader. They just love us, these guys. 400 iron! I want. We've got, we've got like 5. Oh, we'll, We've got like 500 iron already, but yep. Let's get another 400. 
Uh, more wool coats, I guess. We're probably going to have to stop trading uh, so much eventually, because we are trading quite. Uh, we'll go 120. We can go 125. Can we go 130? We can, awesome. Then we'll go 5. Trade. We don't want wool, we don't want wool coats. Dismiss. Go away. And that'll have to do it for this episode. What are we up to now, population wise? 169. So growth has slowed a little bit, which is good. Uh, we're at the stage where we could use the third teachers. I guess I'm going to put that up here somewhere. Try to shove it in. Okay. But yep, yeah, that'll do it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. Nope, we've got another, got another uh, trader. We have to trade with him. It is custom. Pear seeds we've got. We want that. Pumpkin seeds we've got. We want that. We've got chestnut seeds. Okay, this is going to make an expensive trade as well. Oh, we can offer 250. It's too much. We'll offer 240. Too little. 245. No. Oh, overpaying. Whoops, I misread that. 225. Let's get to 20. And then we'll go 10. Steel tools, 200 of them, that's heaps. And some stone, trade. Mutton, mushroom, blah blah blah, we don't want any of this stuff. They dismiss. Okay, now it's the end of the episode. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching everyone, and I will see you next time. This is Mr. Economist, signing out.